Hello, men. Good morning. And uh, wanted to do a short promotional for our men's breakfast study that is starting up on Thursday, February 3rd at 6.30 in the morning. We've been doing this now for a year. Uh, and during our last study in the fall, as we were finishing our study over the Reformation and Luther and Calvin and the Reformational changes to worship and, of course, the recovery of the gospel, um, we took a vote and said, what would you all want to do in the spring? And um, a lot of votes were given, which is great. Um, in two or three categories received a lot of votes. But the category that received the most by far is a study over the last things or what we call eschatology. And it gets a fancy word, which means, you know, logos, study of eschaton, last things. So sounds fancy. It's just it's just a word that says this is the study of the culmination or the consummation of all things. And so that is what we're going to study this semester for the spring. And so I'm calling the study of the Christian hope um, in the future of everything. And um, it's a study over the last things, but it's really meant to be comprehensive. It's also meant to be pastoral. So I want you to understand this is that Christian theology, when studied, has a lot of practical relevance. OK, yeah, it just does. Um, the truth is relevant. All right. And so I want to encourage you all as we come to the study and we sign up for this thing um, that we are going to we're going to really be challenged, I think, to live in light of the future. Um, I think m most importantly, we're going to be challenged to understand who we are in relationship to the God who has the future in his hands and whose resurrection is consummated. Um, kind of the goal of all history. It's funneling towards, it's rushing towards um, the consummation of Jesus the Lord over all things, bringing all things underneath his sovereign control and the earth is his footstool. And, and the Bible is trending that way. The Bible is pushing towards that way. The, the theologians call it the telos, the end, the goal, the consummation. And so th that's really what we're going to be studying this semester with a pastoral goal of also keeping the future in front of you so that we understand how practical and relevant it is to live in light of it. Okay, we all are living with some sort of understanding of the future. We are all coming to it with some sort of piece together, maybe piecemeal, who knows, of what the future is supposed to look like or what it's going to be. The Bible has a lot to say about the future. And so the goal that we're going to have is to try to put that before you in a way that is both comprehensive but clear. And at the same time, to help you understand how to live in light of those comprehensive yet clear truths of God's word, which is consummated in Jesus Christ in his second advent. And so I think this study is going to be a challenge for all of us. It's certainly a challenge for me to prepare for. This is a, a lot of content to kind of go through then to bring down to kind of a, a 40 minute discussion. It, it, that's challenging in itself, but it's going to be more challenging for us just ethically um, in the way that we live in light of that and not dismiss the future or be pessimistic about the future or put the future off or think that the future is not related to the present. It is. So I think a big a big goal of, of mine for the study is one, to teach you how to live in light of the future practically as we teach through these doctrines, these truths. But secondly, how to think as a Christian. I, I really want to teach and, and, and admonish each one of us, myself first, of how to think like a Christian. And to think like a Christian is to think about the future, okay? So I wanna encourage you with that little, little you know, um, plug. And then I, like I, I typically do in these promotional videos, I'm just gonna share with you the resources that I will be consulting um, um, as I prepare the study so you kinda know, oh, that's kinda what we're gonna get. That's kinda the background Ross is gonna be working from. So as for kinda the structure of, heaven, the structure of the Christian hope, the structure of the scriptures and how they are kind of moving towards that final telos, that final point in Christ, um, really going to be working from three thinkers specifically on this. The first, of course, is the great St. Augustine, and I've been working through again uh, the last six months or so, uh, plopping back and forth on the City of God by St. Augustine um, right now in book 11. but plopping back and forth in there. Of course, this is a history of kind of the, the the redemptive history of the whole Bible. That's what we're going to be talking about. So City of God has a lot of revel, uh, uh, relevance to Christian eschatology. So we're going to be working through that. Um, secondly, um, more specifically for our first couple lessons, it's going to be Meredith Klein's Kingdom Prologue, 
It's got another book uh, called God <clears throat> God in, in um, Armageddon, but I'm not going to be working through that one specifically. But really the first few chapters of Genesis here that he goes through talking about heaven and God is the Omega point, you know, which is, you know, pretty fascinating to think about. But uh, Kingdom Prologue going to be using uh, some of Meredith Klein. And then most importantly of the three, as important as Augustine and Meredith Klein are, going to be working through the works of Gerhardus Voss. Um, his great little book, The Kingdom of God and the Church, which is excellent. <clears throat> his very challenging yet profound book, The Pauline Eschatology uh, by, by uh, Gerhardus Voss. This just came out, so I haven't had a chance to look at this just yet. Um, but his fourth volume, I think, no, fifth volume of his Reformed Dogmatics that goes through eschatology specifically in a more kind of um, uh, point by point uh, scholastic method. And then his, his special writings on the future, many of, of which are contained in this volume called Redemptive History and Biblical Interpretation by Gerhardus Voss. So going to be working a lot from Gerhardus Voss um, as he is the great biblical theologian of the Reformed tradition in the 20th century. Um, but most importantly for the overall teaching and kind of the pastoral insight and, and some really kind of some just the general pieces of, of um, kind of just point by point that we want to refer to, I really love and have loved for a long time, this book's been out since 2008, Cornelius Venema's The Promise of the Future. And this book to me is the most well-organized of all the books I've referenced as it comes to a teaching on the, the broad categories of the last things. So we're going to be working through all of those folks, but we're going to be looking at the structure of eschatology primarily through the lens of Cornelius Venema and how he puts it together. And he is just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So also I have bought in, they're on the, the, uh, the bookstore um, tables. Uh, I've bought a number of copies of his um, kind of, you know, abridged version of that book called uh, The Promise of the Future. And that's by Venema, of course. And I've got five or 10 copies in the bookstore. And that's the book I would recommend for you all to get for your library to reference as, or to, to kind of follow along as we go through this study. Because that's really going to be the abridged version of what we're talking about at length, even though we'll be working from all those resources um, as well. Okay, but Venema is going to be the one that's a little bit more of the field manual that we're going to be using for teaching purposes to say this is the structure we're going to probably teach it in um, with some of his own pastoral questions that he, he asks that are really, really good for us to, to, to ruminate on. Okay, so all those folks. And then lastly, I'm um, going to also reference the great book by Anthony Holcomb of the Bible in the future, who has kind of a similar perspective in many ways to Cornelius Venema also, and who I love. I love Anthony Holcomb, as you all know from his book, Saved by Grace as well. So lots of good resources that we'll be working from. We're going to try to do it in eight weeks. Okay. So it's, it's a lot, but we're going to try to be, I think, um, brief in the way that we're treating them. We're not going to try to overdo it. We're going to try to keep it in, in three sections, the structure of hope. So kind of how does the Bible teach hope? as a whole, from the very beginning in Genesis, the structure of hope, then specifically kind of our own personal hope, okay? Personal hope, meaning there's going to be hope after death. There's hope right now in the kingdom of God, right? So we're, I believe we're in the kingdom of God right now, and we're hoping for the kingdom to come. That's why we pray the Lord's Prayer, thy kingdom come. So it's going to be the personal hope of the Christian as well. And then lastly, the, the hope for everything, the future of everything. And that is going to be, of course, the resurrection in general, um, the accounting of all people in the final judgment called the last day by the Old Testament prophets, the final day. Um, of course, hell and eternal damnation, that's in there. And then lastly, uh, the new heavens and the new earth in heaven. Okay, so kind of this idea of the beatific vision of God at the very end. So that's going to be the general hope. So we have the structure of hope, we have personal hope, and we have general hope hope, the, the hope for everything, the future of everything as well. That's how the study will be broken down. So I really hope you all will, will sign up for this. I'm really excited to teach it. I am certainly preparing very hard and adamantly for it to, to do it very well for you. Um, and I'm excited for the discussion and the insight and the encouragement to live that comes from it. So hope you'll sign up. We will take signups obviously right up till February 2nd, the day before, and we'll start on February 3rd at 6.30 in the morning. Uh, for a morning breakfast study together. Hope to see you there.